dear students in this session we are going to see some more problems on half range four year sin and cosine series let us go into the problem those who don't watch the video of half range four year series involving deductions with parcels identity go to the playlist watch the video and come back here here we are going to solve few more problems on half range four year cosine as well as sin series find the half range sin series of the function f of x equal to l minus x in the interval 0 comma l as usual my step 1 is write the interval the interval is 0 comma l and my step 2 we have to write the formula for the half range fourier sin series in step 3 we are going to find bn directly and substitute in the formula my function f of x is l minus x therefore bn is equal to 2 by l integral 0 to l l minus x sin n pi x by l we have to use bernoulli's formula for integration so the bernoulli's formula is u dv uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc i am choosing u as l minus x which is my diminishing function u dash is minus 1 u double dash is 0 dv is equal to sin n pi x by l dx then integrating this will be getting minus cos n pi x by l divided by n pi by l v1 is cos integration is sin minus will exist till there n pi x by l divided by n pi by l whole square now mapping uv u dash v1 all the remaining terms get zero now we have to apply the limits therefore my bn is equal to 2 by l l minus x minus cos n pi x by l divided by n pi by l minus minus 1 minus sin n pi x by l divided by n pi by l whole square the limit is 0 to l whether it is 0 to l or 0 to pi or 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 l minus l to l for everything sin is 0 so only cos term exist simplifying this 2 by l l by n pi i'll take this minus outside so we'll be having l minus x cos n pi x by l now substituting the upper and lower limit we can cancel this l and l will be having minus 2 by n pi when i substitute the upper limit l minus l that is 0 when i substitute the lower limit l minus 0 into cos 0 so my bn is going to be minus 2 by n pi minus l minus minus get cancel it is going to be simply 2l by n pi so now i found my bn substitute this bn in the original formula f of x is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n pi x by l therefore my answer is summation n equal to 1 to infinity 2l by n pi sin n pi x by l next we are going to solve one more problem on half range fourier cosine series involving deductions with parcels identity so as usual step 1 the given function f of x is pi minus x whole square in the interval 0 comma pi step 2 we have to write the formula the half range fourier cosine series that means a not an exist f of x equal to a not by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity an cos nx we will write the formula of a not an an step 3 we have to find a not an an step 4 we have to do the deduction directly let us go my f of x is going to be pi minus x whole square and i am going to integrate now we know that integral ax plus b whole power n dx is equal to ax plus b whole power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 into a here my a is minus 1 therefore integration of this is 2 by pi pi minus x whole cube divided by 3 into minus 1 the limits are 0 to pi when i apply my upper limit it becomes 0 when i apply my lower limit i'll be getting 0 minus pi cube simplifying this we'll be getting the a not value minus 2 by pi 1 by 3 Minus pi cube, so minus into minus get cancel. Then pi pi get cancel. We'll have pi square in the numerator. Therefore, 
a naught is equal to 2 pi square divided by 3. I want a naught by 2. My a naught by 2 is simply pi square divided by 3. We know that integral ax plus b whole power n dx is equal to ax plus b whole power n plus 1 divided by a into n plus 1. Similarly, here it looked like b plus ax. So my a is minus 1. Therefore, the integration is 2 by pi, pi minus x whole cube divided by minus 1 into 3. The limits are 0 to pi. When I simplify this, I will be directly getting a naught is equal to minus 2 by 3 pi into minus p cube. Minus minus get cancelled and pi pi get cancelled. Therefore, my a naught is 2 pi square by 3. But I need a naught by 2 in end of the problem. So, I am writing here pi square divided by 3. a naught gets over. Next, a n. My f of x is pi minus x whole square into cos n x. We have to go for Bernoulli's integration formula. Integral u dv is equal to u v minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc. My u is pi minus x whole square u dash is 2 into pi minus x into minus 1 u double dash is minus 2 pi minus x differentiation is minus 1 u triple dash is going to be 0. Similarly, in the other side, dv is equal to cos nx dx. My v is minus sin nx divided by n. My v1 is minus into minus plus cos nx by n square. And my v2 is sin nx by n cube. Now, mapping uv, u dash v1, u double dash v2. Remaining all the terms get 0. And rewriting this and substituting in a n will be getting like this. Immediately, I can make this two sign terms 0. Now, simplifying a n will be getting, now simplifying a n minus minus get cancelled. We have one more minus. So, I will take this minus outside. We have 2 by pi and I will take this 2 by n square also outside for my convenience. I will be having pi minus x cos nx at 0, comma pi. So, minus 4 by pi n square when you apply upper limit, it will become 0 since pi minus pi. When you apply lower limit, pi minus 0 into cos 0. So, minus 4 by pi n square minus pi. Minus minus get cancelled. Pi pi get cancelled. My a n is going to be 4 by n square. Now, substitute this in the Fourier cosine series formula. a naught by 2, that is pi square by 3 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n that is nothing but 4 by n square cos n x. Next step we have to do for deduction. My a n is 4 by n square but my deduction is with power 4. So, it is obvious we have to use parcels identity and the parcels identity for the interval 0, comma pi is this. Now, we know a naught by 2 is pi square by 3. Therefore, a naught square by 4 is pi power 4 by 9. We get this. Similarly, a n is going to be 4 by n square. a n square is going to be 16 by n power 4. So, now we deal 1 by 1. First, let us finish my LHS. LHS is a naught square by 4. Just now we found it as pi power 4 by 9 plus 1 by 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity. A n square is 16 by n power 4. Simplifying this, pi power 4 by 9 plus 8 summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n power 4. Next, we have to deal RHS. My RHS is 1 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x whole square. My f of x is pi minus x whole square. Again, whole square. This is because of this. Now, it is going to be 1 by pi integral 0 to pi pi minus x whole power 4 dx. As usual, the formula which we discussed for a naught, we are going to use the same. Integration of this is pi minus x whole power 5 divided by 5 and the coefficient of x is minus 1, 0 to pi. When I apply my upper limit, the problem is 0. When I apply my lower limit 0, it is going to be pi power 5. So, minus into minus plus, you will be getting pi power pi by pi pi. Therefore, my RHS is going to be 
pi power 4 by 5. Equating LHS and RHS, we get the following equation. Now, summation n equal to 1 to infinity, 1 by n power 4 is equal to pi power 4 by 5 minus pi power 4 by 9. When I take the 8 to the other side, we will be getting 1 by 8 into pi power 4 by 5 minus pi power 4 by 9. Taking pi power 4 outside and LCM will be getting 9 minus 5 divided by 45. So, pi power power 4 by 8 into 4 by 45. Simplifying this, we will be getting pi power 4 by 90. Therefore, my LHS, I can substitute the values 1 plus 1 by 2 power 4 plus 1 by 3 power 4, etc. Hence, we proved the deduction. Next, in all our unit 2 videos, we are telling about root mean square value. That is simply RMS value. This is not eligible for a big question, but it is very a small thing. It may be eligible for 2 mark or MCQ. So, they will ask a question like this. Find the RMS value for the function f of x equal to x in the interval 0 comma L. Now, we know the formula for RMS value that is y bar it is equal to square root of 1 by b minus a integral a to b f of x whole square dx. Here my a comma b is nothing but 0 comma L and my f of x is x. Therefore, my RMS value is square root of 1 by L minus 0 integral 0 to L x whole square dx. That is nothing but square root of 1 by L. Integration of x square is x cube by 3 limit 0 to L. When you substitute the upper limit, it becomes L cube by 3 and lower limit is 0. Simplifying this, we will be getting L square by 3. Therefore, my final answer is Y bar is equal to L by root 3. That means the RMS value for the function f of x equal to x is L by root 3. And they can ask a similar problem. Find the RMS value of f of x equal to x square at the interval 0 comma L. So, the same formula we are going to apply. Y bar is nothing but square root of 1 by b minus a integral a to b f of x whole square dx. Here a comma b is 0 comma l and my f of x is x square. y bar is going to be square root of 1 by l minus 0 integral 0 to l x square whole square dx. So, it is going to be square root of 1 by l integral 0 to l x power 4 dx. That is x power 5 by 5 limit 0 to L. When I substitute, upper limit exists, lower limit becomes 0. So, 1 by L, L power 5 by 5. Simplifying this, we will be getting L power 4 by 5, that is L square by root 5. Therefore, my RMS value for the function f of x equal to x square at 0 comma L is y bar is equal to L square by root 5. So, this will come in MCQ. So, just remember the formula. Integration is also very simple. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.